Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Applebee. How are you? How guys? are you? Good. Are you so many technical difficulties. I'm amazed that this happened on our end. <laughs> we have, I mean, that's because I we, we got like four computers and like homeschooling happening all at the same time. It's like the bandwidth is out of control. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? I mean, you know, all things considered, like every, I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're doing well, you know, same. Just same. Yeah. 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 Just keeping it positive. We went through like a drive through um, thing in a parking lot of a mall today where like there were like installations on um, all sides. Everyone's wearing a mask. The windows are down. And it was and like one of them, you go inside a little cubby and they like play you Billie Eilish. And you kind of dance in your car. And I was like, this is like Disneyland 2020. <laughs> so we're just trying to make the most of it is basically what I'm trying to say. It's like, yeah. what can we do now that we'll probably never do again? Right. Oh, it's so wild. Yeah, it's interesting where it's like you think of how is this going to go back to normal? How quickly will people just forget or won't they? Totally. I thought about that yesterday. I thought it was like a very interesting experience to be having in the middle of your life because it's sort of like can everything sort of be before COVID and over COVID, after COVID and like how di how different does it? Like what, how, what a big change does it do? Are you guys having fun? Are you guys like chatting with people and stuff talking about Roswell? Well, what's interesting is I can't see anything. So Brendan is like the commander and he can see the comments and I can't really see. And That's kind of cool. But then I'm like, I feel like a little left out. But then he was like, no, if you get on his Facebook, you can see the comments. And it took me a while. It's just like a thing of like, how many actors does it take to figure oh. out this technology? Oh, no, you know? I just want to comment and say how lovely your furniture and your home looks behind you. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm really interested in the bed. I'm always interested in all your decorating. Do you mean me or do you mean Brendan? You. Okay, yeah, this, because, okay, I'm so glad you say so, Applebee, because these two, there are two things behind me, uh, yeah. and I, like, killed myself to hang on to them from, like, the previous owners, where I was like, I want those things, but yeah. they don't stand up on their own, you have to, like, push them up, and a little bit of work, you know what I mean, and it's right. kind of, um, you know, a, a, a tough subject where my husband's like, throw them out. But I just, I'm like, they're special. This isn't They're like special. Helpful. Don't you think? Because does everybody out there in the ether know that you've always had a really good interior decorating mind? And when we were on Roswell, I came to your house once when you lived in your mom's house and you had your tiny, you, your beautiful bathroom painted like the Tiffany blue. It was the first time I'd ever seen it. I was like, this is genius. This is I like the best it. thing I've ever seen. Thank you so much for saying so. And also, I lived with my mom like, <laughs> for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that. That's not That's what I was alluding to. Yeah. I was, just that that bathroom, you know, all these years later has continued to make an impression on me. I have to say, same, where I'm like, that was the peak of my life. That was, that was the peak. That's so that funny. Like here and now. Yeah, that was great. What a great time. If I could only go back. So funny. Yeah. It's funny because then you have like a spouse and they have, uh, you know, opinions, like design opinions. And it's yeah, not. I'm like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. we're, like, yeah, we, we feel, I feel like we've constantly been trying to like figure out like what, and now I'm very, I'm, I feel really good just being like, you just do it all, babe. Just you finish it. You pick all, you make all the decisions. Just run us home to the finish line. Bold. I like it. Yeah, for real. He, I think he has really good taste and he's like efficient and wants to get it done. Whereas I can sort of like mull it over and I'm not sure. And maybe I just like the way things look right now. And like, yeah. so. But see, I think the real, yeah. there's a real virtue and it, it really is like the better move is to take your time. You know, like sure. you're not ready to just, you're, you don't have this feeling of like, do this, do that knob and do this. Like, like that's actually the move. But I, I just, how, how do you like living in Maine in winter? What's that like? I love it, but I do love winter. So it's like, I'm not a good barometer because I have a hard time with heat. And that was kind of like what drove me 
you know, away was I was uh, suffering so much in the heat, like, which sounds ridiculous because LA is not that hot. Um, yeah. So I'm not the right person to ask. I love the winter and Applebee. I get depressed in the summer here. Like I have like seasonal. Oh, reverse. Oh, how funny. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not the person to ask, but, um, but you know, I, like David is a, um, a Bostonian, you know, so yeah. he, he, you know, and he, but he loved LA. He did love the weather and like loved the whole thing. And I think this year he's like coming around. He's like into it now. <laughs> so, he's into it. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Definitely different, but um, selfishly, like I'm really into it. Let's see if I, you know, what that means, whether the family will resent me. Well, over Instagram, it looks really pretty. From my point of view, it's great. But, you yeah, know, who knows what it's totally. doing for the rest. And, and Brendan, where in the world are you? Brendan is not in the cold. I am where not. are you in New Mexico. You're New Mexico. And so is it, it still pretty hot there? Uh, today, it's starting to cool down. Today was a, uh, we got cool at nights, but we still, like, there's a Christmas in the air, but yeah um like i could go out my t-shirt today you know if i really wanted to and all that stuff because you're canadian and you're tough well there's that aspect <laughs> of it there. yeah when it gets when it gets I yeah it doesn't cold, get that I cold but we do get all the seasons here which i like but none of yeah. them are severe totally totally so you know so that's good yeah. um but yeah, I mean, listen, like you know, the the universe called uh, called me back here. So what am I going to say? I love too that you were never there. It just called you there. It did. Yeah, that was it. Um, what have you been up to, Appleby? I know you've been directing, and you just did mm -hmm. mixish, mi mixedish. Yeah, mixedish. It was really great. I had such a nice time. I felt like so excited to go back to work after like so many months of like really being with my kids and in the house. It was nice to like, just be creative with a bunch of really funny people. And I turned the cut in. And so now I'm back to making masks and sewing and gardening <laughs> a ton and making bread. Yeah. And you know, I'm just trying to, you know, just continuing to feel really creative so that like, you know, when we all do get, like resume what we are working on, you're in a state of like creativity as opposed to like pulling yourself out and having to start the wheel again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so sorry, someone just commented. Uh, this is uh, girls on top, which pardon is, me? Mahandra will understand. It's, it's girls yeah. on top. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, are we? Yeah. It's like the the yeah the spacing of our. The the uh, there's a little there's a little thing with the B and T crowd and it's a uh, girl on top is one thing they always want Mahandra above on the Instagram feed yeah, and Instagram this is a uh, this is a uh, this is a girls on top moment for all of them. Okay, yeah. Cool. Instagram Live, you have like the comments in your face when you're on the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, everyone wants the girls on top because they want to see the girls. They don't want to see the guy's face. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> over over the comments. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm just here to serve. That's all. I understand. Well, it's so uh, cheery because I kind of... Am I like in the pitch black? You guys, I was sitting outside because there was nice light. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm sitting in the dark. Why don't I walk you guys into oh, the wait, space? It's, it's it's movie movie. Movie. I'm going to walk I was you into the, our garage that I've turned into my arts and crafts room. Why don't I show you what it looks like? This is where I spend my time. Ooh, we got are a you, little tour. Appleby, are you knitting still? Because the... Yeah. The like, I'm not right now. I'm like mostly sewing, I'm sewing a lot. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, the instinct. Can you see like, me? Knit. What? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like a whole yeah. situation. Okay, so oh, this, this was our garage. Oh. This was our garage that we've turned into like an arts and crafts room. And right oh, now, I'm sewing, awesome. I'm tailoring my husband's jeans so he could like have okay. new jeans. I cut masks for like all like a bunch of men's masks for people, men in my life. This is where I sit. Incredible. Is it? It's amazing. <laughs> Isn't so this is where? Look at these are my favorite things right now. They're like the tags that you put on masks so you can have like um, oh, yeah a good yeah. end. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Siri, if people awesome. want. I, yeah. I'm not to put you on the spot. If people want the masks, are they available? Uh, to people? I'm not selling the masks. Okay. So funny. Not people selling. ask me just because. Just in case. 
Sherry's like, I'm not going to monetize. Just gonna, uh, yeah, just, just, <laughs> just, you can't really monetize the mass. There's not really a monetization. Like, there's you're not you're making like fifty cents. Yeah. I would like keeping them out. I like making a lot as many as I can, so that when I see friends or I come across people, I love them. Always like, here's a mask. Here's a mask. Right now, I'm wearing my friend Ellen Bennett's mask. She has that company, Headley and Bennett. And then I I put my own mask thing on it, and then I make mask chains. You guys, see, look. I make chains that go onto my masks and then have my name on it. This is brilliant. Liz Parker, as crafty as ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, yeah, so Oh, it fits so nice. Well, yeah. Well, this one is a Headley and Bennett, but because I put those good straps on, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like, it. this is one of my masks. Here, I'll show you one of my masks. This is one of my masks. Oh, so cool. Oh, so beautiful. cool, right? Thanks. We and they got fit really good. Man. Game. Sherry, can we convince you to mail us some? <laughs> <We're> terrible. <laughs> I'll, mail you, I'll mail you some masks. So right now I'm making like a bunch of men's masks for my I'm neighbors. Into these men's masks. For the gardeners, like there's four of them. They've asked me because they see me making yeah. them. So I'm making them yeah. all a matching set. How cute will they be? This oh, is so cute. Oh. And it's funny because every time my husband puts on a mask, I'm like, oh, like it's because there's, <laughs> I'm buying like clearly like feminine looking ones. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, like a lace it's like lace panties over his face. Yeah, like, I'm emasculating. Hey, it's a fashion statement these days. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. A fashion oh, statement. A good mask is everything. Yeah. It changes someone's vibe. A good mask like, is everything. This is so mean, but when my kids wear their masks, I'm like, they're so cute. <laughs> I know, but they can be really cute. I try to make this, I try to make the kids' masks cute. Because you want them to wear them to be safe and like also for them to feel like cool about it, like not feel like yeah. mean. Or Even if it's like a solid one, they look like children look so cute with a mask on, which is a horrible thing to say, but they really do. They like, do. Kids look cute and everything. Uh, Shiri, do you have a pattern you follow? Oh, like, that's a, like a specific question. one for your mask? Yeah, solid question. Okay, so I make my own pattern. So I'll like see a friend of mine wearing a mask that she'll get from somebody. And so then I'll say, let me just borrow your mask for a little bit. Right. And then I trace, so now I'm going to show you something up on the wall. So then I trace the masks. Nice. And I've made different patterns. So this is like the kid mask pattern. This is the pattern I use for my dad. My friend oh, Georgia nice. has a pattern that I like for hers. So I just kind of like make patterns. Oh, this is fantastic. Isn't that crazy? This is the pattern I'm using right now. I have to find it somewhere on the table. But isn't that wild? So I, that's like awesome. What? You're single-handedly like just putting a stop to this insanity by putting <laughs> out these masks. It's crazy. Brendan, we're and then I said to my daughter, what are we gonna do with all these masks when this is over? She's like, We'll have to make them into something else. Yeah. We'll have yeah, to just I, I think we may just like throw them in the fire. So this is the last thing I'll show you my guess. This one I found on fabric.com, this project. And I did this one. Look at all my crafts. I'm showing you guys everything. But it's broken. So I do it. We love this. Look, it's a wreath made out of fabric. Oh my God. This is, by the way, this is so perfect for the holidays. Like, wow. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Perfect. It's going to hang like that. Oh my so God. This is perfect. That's amazing. So it's cute, right? This is like so then I have like a big pile of fabric scraps on the floor for the kids <laughs> to play with. So then that's what I sit with them and I make that. That looks like my kids' underwear pile. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's amazing. We gotta like get on it, Brendan. We're not doing anything. I mean, <laughs> not. I'm just like fighting with my husband about keeping like old furniture. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> So funny. The wreath is awesome. I think I think a bunch of people are just have gone over the moon about the wreath. Yeah, oh, they like the wreath. That's they good. Love I, saw the wreath. I saw the idea on fabric.com on their Instagram. I like to shop on fabric.com for fabric to work with because it's there like dead. so and I give them all the credit. And then okay. Applebee, the thing, the um the, the neck thing? Yeah. Yeah. What is that like? That process is it just straight? So you just get the fabric, and then this one's an old school one, but it's like tying in a knot, a little bit of clasping it, then putting yes. the hooks on, and then you beads. I put my name on it. Someone I saw the other day, one of the moms had it with like pearls, like fit, yes. you know, like 
And I was like, I I, I bought it. Like I, you know, I didn't make the thing. Yeah. I know, but like, it's really fun. And the great thing is, is like, you know, we still have younger kids. So we're socially distancing far away and seeing people, but like, this is like a project that you can be with you. People can work on it a little bit. It's like nice thing to do with people. Yeah. Yeah. We made, we made some today with some, some friends of ours. I love it. But I want to get ones with pearls next. It's something, I know. I have like one that's like, um, I don't want to see, it's like, um, you know, when the pearls are like uneven. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. But when I put it on, I immediately look like I'm 80 years old. <laughs> like like real- in a good way? Like, I, I like I 80 think so. I think so, but I'm like, ugh. Um, but- Hold on, Mo. I got a, we got a question from a fan. Sorry, I, I'm looking at the, the Facebook feed while we do this. Shiri, yeah. they yes. want you to share, and it doesn't have to be about us, a memorable yeah. uh, Roswell moment. I don't know. Do you oh, have okay. one? Sure. Sure, I have one. <laughs> the first one I just thought of was maybe the table read. That feels like a sort of vague memory when we first all met a long time ago. I remember having, I vaguely remember everybody sitting in a room. Um, what other funny moments do I have? You guys, it was so many years ago. I think just like the fact that we had these like amazing trailers right in the parking lot at Paramount, like right in the middle of it. And like, I I remember seeing Sean Penn one time walking through the parking lot to go to a meeting and like, we were just right in the middle of it. And I don't even know that we were totally aware of it. We were were right at the beginning of it. Like we had the prime spot on all of Paramount. Yeah. And do you remember when we had like the bikes and the razor scooters? Yeah, I do. I remember all of that. And I, I still, remember I used I still to like have- pack a bag to go to set that was like a suitcase. Like I brought my whole life with me to set every time I came. So it was like I was bringing my own diaper bag. Totally. As if we're like that far. But listen, I think it was small. <laughs> Just have everything there. Yeah. yeah that was that parking and trailer setup in Paramount was so primo like yes. it really was I don't even know if anyone and what a historic um studio yeah like we shot in the I Love Lucy studio <laughs> yeah we shot in we the had great stages yeah the stages no, right. is- I remember one time I like ran out sometime during the first season, they were shooting Felicity out on the New York stages when we were back there. And I ended up talking to someone and I was like an extra in a shot just because I loved Felicity. And it was like in between scenes. Yes. You were like at work, (laughs) had a break and then you were an extra. Do you remember to Appleby when we would escape? Like we weren't allowed to leave for whatever reason for lunch, which was so weird, I guess, because we were children and in their eyes and we would like escape to Larchmont and like okay. I just remember us on our bikes on Larchmont like somehow we had taken the bike and we were just going down Larchmont but we had like 20 minutes it was just the saddest but it felt at the time like a huge rebellious like amazing <laughs> and it's like, like it was- a big thing to yeah. do like ditching school that like ditching high school that's so funny yeah I just remember all that i remember you decorating like again you with the theme of you being good you did a really good job decorating your trailer yeah i really sort of try to emulate how you would get like the right sheet that just perfectly fit over the couch bed and you had the right pillows and yeah. inside, like you I created have, a vibe i have like still this like that's what's so funny is i like, blew my load and bought stuff that was like way too nice for that age and i still have it now because it was like appropriate for like a 40 year old you know what I mean yeah so I guess I don't regret that but yeah it was so you know I really went over the top like I'd put like posters up in the trailer and like yeah I covered the trailer with like pictures of my friends and my boyfriend or whatever was going on that's kind of my memories do they have any other questions Brendan uh any other questions we can do this um someone okay here we go uh, it's late in some places. Um, do, uh, I mean, one was, do you still talk to Jason? We know you do. Yeah. You guys are around there. Um, a lot of people are just uh, feeling sorry for me because it's a real girls moment. And uh, I'm, yeah. just being, I'm being left out. That's fine. Got it. Is there anything you guys want to talk about with BNT? How's that all going? It's going well. You yeah. Know, we're, we can't wait to actually shoot it. We're so excited that we get to. Um but I'll definitely let you know once we start shooting it, if anything happens. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It's very yeah. exciting. Um, 
oh, we just hope that by the time we do start shooting, things aren't quite as crazy. Yeah. yeah. What's, it, what's it go like in Cal? I, I'm pretty sure stuff's going to shut back down again, both in New Mexico and California. It shut down. So they shut down. They said starting Wednesday, um, all outdoor dining is shut down again. And so it'll only be like East. I don't even know what oh. will be open. Supermarkets are open? Um, Supermarkets someone someone open. had a question. Um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Roswell, New Mexico. How was it directing that? Uh, what was the vibe? Uh, what was going on there? It was a great time. They're really nice. Like they're just really nice actors, really welcoming group of people. I loved working with the DP, Dave. Um, and I just really enjoyed like kind of going back, seeing the crash down and like sort of getting to go back into the world, knowing it and feeling very familiar with it. But at the same time, it's like a totally different show. You know what I mean? Like there is no high school component. It's like a different world. So it sort of just feels like Roswell 2.0 and they've made it their own. But I had a great time and I love living. I thought New Mexico was a great place to be. I love being in Santa Fe. You know, you could shoot such different stuff. It's like we went to Vasquez Rocks, but like their whole like landscape they can use. Right. Like lends itself to that. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Because they're there, you know. Like Santa Fe is so special. Yeah. I mean, what a, yeah. And Janine Mason's great. Nathan Parsons. I've become really good friends with Heather Hemmins, who plays Maria, and she's going to direct her first episode this season. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, good for her. Isn't that amazing? That's yeah. Full circle. That's perfect. It's amazing. So she shadowed me last season when I was there. So I'm, like, so excited for her. She's, like, so ready for the opportunity. And Sherry, do you think that you would ever be down to do, like, full-blown, like, half-hour comedies? As like, an actress? No. Well, yes, I know, of course, you'd kill it oh. as an actress, but direct, like... Oh, yeah. Yes, for sure. For sure. Like Red Savage style, you know, like... Yes, for sure. I, I want to direct multi-cam even. Oh, yes. Like, <laughs> yes. yes. I, 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 like I, I, like, it. yes. Yeah. I totally, I love directing comedy. I had a great time on Mixed Dish. And it's, like, big comedy, bigger than I do as an actress. So it was really, really fun, um, for sure. But I, yes, I just... Uh, shadowed Pam Fryman. I, I never I worked with her as an actress. Fryman. Yeah. And so I shadowed her for an episode and I was like, because I did multi-cams when I was a kid, so I was like familiar enough. Yeah. But then really seeing from a one full week, I was like, I could do this. I could do this world. It's so it's fun. Like, and it's funny too, because it's like, I feel like it gets a bad rap as being like cheesy or whatever, but it's like, it, it's nuanced. It's so fun. It's just it's like, it's like, yeah, there's something very special about it. And that would, I just feel like you'd be so good. And, it, like, uh, you know, to have, like, the balance, the two worlds, to be able to do the two is, like, it's, what a gift. It'd be amazing. You know? It's kind of just, like, putting on a play each week. Yes. It's, like, oh, really, like, a truncated, like, a play camp. Like, you're, like, one week, learn yes. a play, stage the play, film the play. Yeah. I would love to do it. That's how, how I see it. So, yeah, I'm trying. You're just, like, that. trying. I'm, like, I'm throwing everything I got at the fire. <laughs> yeah, and it's also so fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do I like? Or what, what do I like? like? And what can I add to the pile of what I like? It's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, because, like, Fred Savage, you know. Yeah. He's, he's been really nice. He's been, like, very mentory with me and, like, yeah. very helpful. It's been really nice. And it's, like, he's super cool, and he just, like, gets it done and is so but you know, yeah, I think it'd yeah. be, yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it. Well, you guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for having Thank me. You so much for coming on, Apple. It means the world to us. And uh, God, just I gotta start making masks. <laughs> You guys are send me your send me your address. I'll send you a care package. No. I just want to thank everybody too for all the support all these years. It has just been so nice knowing that there's all these people out there that are rooting us on. Um, and it's awesome that you guys are doing this to stay connected. Uh, yeah, well, please stay in touch. Uh, thank you so much, Jerry, for doing this. Um, you know what you're doing on the directing scene and all that stuff. Uh, I hope to see you on screen again. <laughs> Um, as well, but I, I dig it so much and I just, you know, I think uh, what you're doing on that side of it and, and what you do for like the, you know, I follow you and, and just like empowering women and I got three daughters and all that stuff. I think it's awesome. You're so sweet for saying that. Thanks, Brendan. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right. Thanks, Bye. 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 Bye.